You got Memphis it. March right. in 2017, a Chicago March in 2018. We marched on the Capitol in 2022. The Buffalo shooting, we were there. Uh, Ferguson, we were there. What were we teaching? In Matthew 22, this is what Christ said to us, verse 37. And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Most people don't know who their neighbor is. They think their neighbor, first and foremost, is the Caucasian around the block or the Arab. But when you read what Moses, Christ is quoting Moses, okay, let me show you who the neighbor is. Watch, I need everybody to just listen, just listen for a moment. Just give me a moment, Leviticus 19 and verse 17. This is what Christ got the quote from. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of your people. That's what Christ was saying. And that's where in our, lies our problems. As you were stating, Jason, you're correct. I'm not saying you're wrong. We have a lot of internal struggles we must overcome. And as Israel not in Christ, the Israelites, the commandments to our people to raise them up mighty that we can as that mighty. I do remember Jesus teaching after somebody asked, who is my yeah, neighbor? Right, and my neighbor, right. Talked about right. the good Samaritan. <laughs> yeah, he didn't read that oh part, goodness. did he? All right, D-New. Oh. BK, can you put up those uh, video titles? Did you get Oh, I did, I did one better. I got you. Everyone should just pay attention, though, what he just said. I know the panel knows. Listening, what Nathaniel was saying is... If you're not on my 12 tribes chart, you're not, you're my, not neighbor. my neighbor. Right now, I don't think they go as far, but that's where groups like Sakari say, and that's why you can lie, steal, kill if the person you're interacting with is not on the 12 tribes chart. You're allowed to do break all the Ten Commandments dealing with them. It's like one West Takia. Now he doesn't say that, but I could see that being a logical implication of what it's saying, you know. And so, I mean, is it really true that most folks, uh, <clears throat> if if you grew up in Southfield? The, the the neighborhood uh, right next to the neighborhood I grew up with. It's like uh, at the time it was like 90 some percent black. There's anyone hearing that would not have thought, oh, I'm thinking the white man at the block. They would have thought about their other neighbors who were, I don't know what he's talking about. Like they think the white man at the block. Well, n n not I, what, what's he saying? <laughs> I don't know. This is, there's just so much wrong. It's like, he has to gaslight, go ahead and use it. Jason Whitlock into thinking that he's in captivity, that everyone's against him, that he's nothing. He has to like tell him all that. And Jason's like, well, uh, that's not what I was taught. I was taught I was a child of God. I wasn't taught I was a worthless Gentile. You, you guys remember these parts where yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like trying yeah. to convince him about his own life. Right. Yeah. My goodness. My goodness. So Michelle knows what Southfield is. <laughs> So here's some interesting um, thumbnails <laughs> of some IUIC sh showing us how they feel about the black woman. How do they feel about the black woman? Do you? <laughs> um, so th this is I IUIC fools people. OK, IUIC uh, presents this image that they are pro uh, for their people, pro black people. But do you have do you have more than this? Oh, or I have more. Okay, um, but you know we can go through some of their video titles and we can see how they're not they're not pro black they're pro men maybe they're pro black men they're definitely not pro black women so here's some video uh, black titles. Black women, you have failed. Did you know that black women in the chat? You failed, man. That's it. And these are to be clear, you know these aren't just uh, images. These are teaching videos right half an hour <laughs> half wait, an wait, hour wait. half an hour wait she's is she putting on the white woman mask or taking it what is what is that on the right with the white woman I guess mask? She's, she's a black karen i guess i guess that's what they're trying to say maybe <laughs> that is unsettling isn't it <laughs> it's a little... black woman is loud and stubborn but the lady on the right my goodness four black women black <laughs> woman has four gods and not one is a black man <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say that the um, so this is the thumbnail, but the actual title that was written out, there was an exclamation point after black man, as if, you know, the audacity, <laughs> the audacity that a black man is not one of the four gods, you know. <laughs> 
close your mouth, black woman. <laughs> yeah, that's inspiring. Yeah. Don't you feel edified, black women? Don't you feel good, Dinu, when you see when you see that? I, I, what I feel is that they're fooling. That's that's what <laughs> that's what I feel. Like, that's people. crazy. What else we got here? Oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> from straight, straight from Captain Enoch himself. The black woman is the devil. Vocab, you're finally off the hook, bro. <laughs> They always call you the devil. They, you, they, you're wrong. They're wrong. It's the I, black woman. I want to thank these two sisters on the cover. And these three sisters for taking my. These four sisters for taking my place. I want to. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Yo, what? So I, let so, me see. I'm sorry. I haven't seen a lot of these, so I'm like, I'm just tripping off of these in real time. These are something else right here. So mm -hmm. let me read a few more that uh, I might repeat, but here, here's a few more that I didn't see that you had the thumbnail for. Mm -hmm. um, older black women have destroyed our community. Okay. Wow. Uh, wow. Close your mouth, black woman. Black yeah, women. Oh, you did that. Black women mm -hmm. are, are re rebellious. Black women, woman, you have failed. <laughs> um, oh, the Israelites. Black woman, shut up and know your place. I'll do that in a second. Just let me finish saying what I have to say. <laughs> black woman, the black man is your savior. Submission is required. Okay. Wow. This is what IUIC teaches. Okay. I've seen so many videos um, from just lay people who see them doing marches and comment on the unity and the strong black men coming into their community and being pro-family. No, let these video titles sink in, okay? This is how IUIC lifts up the black community. This is how they bring unity to the black community by degrading black women. Can That's you read that last one again, Dinu, the very last one? Yeah, black woman, the man is your savior. Submission is required. Romans 10, 9, 10 remix right here, right? Uh, just Romans 10, 10 remix. Um, let's do Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth that the black man of IUIC is Lord and believe in your heart that the black man of IUIC is God, you will be saved. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I mean, I mean, my goodness. And, and, you know, not only that, on the Whitlock video, I made one little comment, right? Every time I do a comment on these public things that are happening now, like on Twitter, I always get some one West and be like, we see you, Agent Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I went under that Whitlock video and I put this this uh, thing, this uh, sell to black unity is a lie because it's not about unifying that way. And the proof is if you have a spouse man or woman who joins up in iuic if the other spouse doesn't get with the doctrine within six months they have compulsory divorce or the person can't progress in the school and may not even be allowed to be in there so it's clearly not unity just of the community the family because otherwise you wouldn't force divorces with your backwards interpretation of first corinthians 7 that they do so it's not just oh if you're uh let's say that somebody had a Japanese father and a and a, a black mother that has to be divorced because the father would be viewed as a non-Israelite so the person would be a non-Israelite no matter where they grew up what they experienced what they look none of that matters how they identify none of that matters because they got the wrong dad so that's an automatic that's not six months that's right or if you got a situation uh where they don't get with the doctrine in some way then you got to get rid of them too, you know. So, and did you notice he said I had to start my own organization because I saw a lot of polygamy in Israel? Yeah. So, you know, some of the people watching that are attracted to it, but a lot yeah. of people don't know. IUIC says there will be polygamy in the kingdom, though. They think wow. those verses that a lot of Hebrews like to use now they'll be fulfilled in the kingdom, but they never hardly talk about it. Uh, so it's kind of like Mormonism where they got rid of polygamy in 1890 for Utah could become a state, right? Uh, technically, those older Mormons still had polygamy on their planet. You know, they still got their wives, but so do Mormons who had more than one wife in some way. They'll also have those wives available to them uh, when they have their planet, if they're faithful Mormons as well. So it's polygamy later on as well. Just bringing that out. That's right. Cool. Cool. So, so yeah, I mean, I do appreciate Mr. Whitlock's conviction of um, freedom of speech, but I also hope that he believes in free and equal time as well. 
And the reason why I say that is that I, I think it'd be great if one of us were, was invited by Mr. Whitlock to give our side of, of our UIC, you know, um, so that we can really give them a, uh, uh, the other side of the situation. You know, so Mr. Whitlock, if you are watching by any chance, we would love to um, sit down in your program and chop it up about IUIC and just Hebrew Israelites in general, right? Yeah, you know, and that is something that um, he said early on, uh, midway through the interview, maybe that he wasn't able to um, contest or really address uh, Nathaniel biblically, biblically because he's not a scholar. And so, um, that would be great if someone could kind of uh, take his place in that way on his platform because <clears throat> their 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 doctrine and their Bible interpretation is sketchy. Yes, this is true. So w with that, um, we're going to try to wrap things up. I mean, it, it, it's a long interview. We couldn't touch on every point. And to be quite honest, we have <laughs> touched on these points in previous videos. So we'll, we'll just be uh, be redundant at this point. Uh, I, actually, I was Tony D. New and um, MJ behind the scenes that all I did was cut and paste pretty much stuff I did in my other videos <laughs> to put in this one because he's saying the same thing. He found the same you know script. I U I C Greatest Hits Volume One. You know, but um, but yeah, I I hope that this helped. Uh, we need to defend the faith and the gospel against these these horrible heresies that targets black and brown people. And um, it's not an easy task, but, you know, we we put ourselves out there because we believe that it, it, it's worth it. You know, we don't want anybody to come between you and the gospel. And that's why we do videos like this. 